y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing y'all three looks using this Plain Jane Remastered palette. This palette is launching soon. I will put the launch details down below, but this palette is full of multi-chromes, multi-chrome toppers, duochromes, shimmers. It is an all special shade palette. So I thought it would be fun to show y'all like ways that I'd use this palette because when I reach for this palette or any type of shimmer special shades, I like to mix and match them with different palettes. Pull in mattes from different brands or adept mattes. It doesn't matter. I just thought it would be fun to kind of show you some fun ways to use this palette in case you were picking it up or if you just have some fun special shadows, some multi-chromes, and you want some inspiration on how to use them, that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we do not try to be perfect. We just wanna have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means, shimmer, glitter, testing out multi-chromes, shimmers, all of that. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots and lots and lots of new videos every single week. So if you were looking for fun makeup content, this is the place to be. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not claiming to be the most skilled, amazing makeup person ever, but I like to have fun with makeup. I want to wear my makeup in a way that makes me happy, and I want you to wear your makeup in a way that makes you happy. So I cannot wait to share my four looks with y'all, so let's jump into it. to the me doing my makeup part of this, I do want to let you know that I have a code with Adept Cosmetics that is an affiliate code that can help you save money if you decide to purchase this. My code is Heather. You can use it at checkout. I do have a video that I will link down below. I swatched this palette. I showed y'all close-ups. I did comparison swatches to the original Plain Jane. And again, I swatched it all on my eyes, so make sure you check that video out if you want to see swatches. Today, I'm just going to be showing you kind of some ways to use these. I will say, I said it in the other video, but I'll go ahead and say it now. There are multi-chromes, duochromes, multi-chrome toppers, and shimmer shades in here, and duochromes. Not sure if I said that, but I want to show you different ways to wear these. These shadows are all new formulas, so none of these formulas are the same from the original Plain Jane. Again, check out that video if you want to see swatches or anything, but I'm going to be pulling in different palettes. I'm just going to quickly go through during the looks like what mattes I'm using. I'm not going to over explain because it's more about how to use the shades in this palette, but everything will be listed and linked in the description box just in case you're curious about anything. And of course, we can always talk in the comments. I would love to hear what y'all have to say. I'm very excited. This is the first look that we're going to start with this one right here. So let's jump into it and I will start showing you some of, well, four, four looks. Okay, my eyes are primed and ready for shadow. I want to do something neutral leaning today because I really want to show y'all like two more neutrally looks with this palette and two kind of colorful ones. So I've got my Blend Bunny Dollhouse palette here. I'm just going to be reaching for the mattes in this palette. And I think what I'm going to do first is kind of just stick to these three shades right here. So this one, this one, and this one. And then we'll pull in the Plain Jane Remastered palette. So these three shades right here. I'm going into the shade Attic and I'm just gonna put this kind of all in the crease and down onto the lid. I'm buffing this in with an Odin's eye brush. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Stitched. This is a matte black shadow. I'm gonna put it 
on the lid and up and we're gonna do kind of like a spotlight type eye so I'm just gonna put it on the inner part of my lid as well I'm also taking the black shade stitched and I'm putting it underneath the lower lash line okay I'm gonna test out this elf cookies and cream no budge eyeshadow stick and this is the shade sweet cream I'm gonna put that down as a base so I'm just kind of lightly putting it on like a spotlight right here and then I'm going to grab a fluffy ish brush this one's from the Beauty Bay brand and we're gonna go into Plain Jane Remastered I really want to play with this multi chrome right up here this is ACI 1 this shadow is super super duper shifty Okay, I'm going to first pack this shade on top of that base. So it's going in between the black shadow. And then I'm just going to lightly blend. And we're going to have a cool toned with a multi-chrome pop. Like, oh, I love the way this shade looks next to the black. That's really pretty. So I'm just kind of tapping it on and then kind of blending to make sure that it's really diffused and we have that spotlight going on. Oh, I love how sparkly this shade is. That looks so pretty. Okay, I want to do something fun on the inner corner too. So let me think like let's do this shade right down here this is like a I don't even know a shimmer topper special shade I love it I loved it in the old plain Jane I shouldn't say the old maybe I should call it like the original but I loved it even more in this one I just like this formula a lot so I'm gonna put that right here on the inner corner so like this is this is neutrally to me with a pop of multi chrome and a pop of shifty shimmer right I feel like it is <laughs> it's neutral to me okay I'm into it I am going to blend a little bit more do the same thing over here go in with liner and lashes I need to finish up my makeup and I will be back all right, y'all, this is the finished look. Of course, I would love to know what you think. Do you consider this neutral? Because I think I do. <laughs> I will tell you what is on the rest of my face. I'm wearing Dior 004 Coral Blush. I'm wearing Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlight. I have the shade Fair. Am I right? Fair, yes. And then on my lips, I have Pinch Me from Beauty Bay. I put on some Ardell Wispy Lashes, and this is my finished look. I'm definitely into it, but I do have three more looks that I want to share with y'all, so let's jump into it. Okay, for this look, the mattes I'm going to use are from this Blend Bunny Surge palette because I want to play with kind of these red tones. So everything I'm going to use is going to be from this row right here. I'm just going to speed through, but I'm going to use the shades. Um, the, yeah, just these. I'm going to stick, not this row, this column right here. None of the shimmers, just one, two, three, four of these mattes. Okay, first up, I'm just going to take the shade Cheeks which is the light pink shade, and I'm going to run it through my crease, blending up and out. I'm now going to go into the shade Maybe, and I'm going to use this right out here in the outer part of my eye, and then I'm going to keep it low in the crease too, underneath the lighter pink shade. I'm now going to take the shade Taboo, which is the darkest shade in that row, and I'm just going to use it to darken up this outer corner. I'm also going to pull this shade underneath the lower lash line. Okay, now that I have these beautiful mattes down, I'm going to go in with my Lit Daily Wear Glitter Base. 
I want to put this all over the lid. This glitter base is very, very liquidy. So I'm going to put it on, then I'm going to tap it till I make sure that it's tacky. And I'm going to play with a multi-chrome. So I'm going to go right into this shade right here. This is the shade ACI2. And I'm going to pick that up on my Lunar Beauty brush. And I'm not going to do any blending right now. I'm going to press it on top of this glitter base. And then I'll go back and blend. But first, I just want to get it pressed down. I'm looking down into my mirror so that I don't crease my glitter base. And I'm going to pack it on. And I'll let it set for a couple of seconds just to make sure it dries. And then I can go back and kind of blend how I want to blend. Ooh. That shade is so beautiful. I feel like depending on what color mattes you pair it with or if you wear it alone like I did in my eye swatch video, it will look different. But now that it's a little dry, it's not tacky anymore, I'm going to buff and blend. Okay, now I want to highlight my inner corner and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, ACI 5. I'm picking that up on a BK Beauty brush and I'm going to spray my brush. This is like a rose gold to pink shifty shade. So shimmery. I think it's going to pair beautifully right here. All right, I'm going to finish up the look. Well, I'm going to finish up this eye and then I'm going to finish up the look and I will be right back. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. I hope that you really enjoy it. I love the way this shade looks with these pinky mattes. I think it's so pretty, but let me tell you what else I have on my face, just in case you're curious about my look. I'm wearing my Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette. I'm wearing the blush shade Nymphette and then a little bit of this highlighter shade in here called Venus Nectar. So that's what I have on my cheeks. On my lips, I have the Pat McGrath Lip Liner in Suburbia, and then I went over the top of it with BK Beauty Kindness, the lipstick in the shade Kindness. So I hope that you enjoy this look. Of course, I would love to know what you think. Okay, for this look, I'm going to grab my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This is in the dark version. And for the mattes, I just want to use these three shades right down here. So this kind of mid-tone, this a little deeper, and this a little darker, all warm neutral shades. Okay, so I'm taking the shade that's called Transition, and I've just buffed that all over my crease, the socket, and up a bit higher. Now I'm taking the shade that's called Crease, and I'm keeping this shade lower, even though I'm going with Windshield Wiper Motions, I'm putting it right in the socket, I'm not going to bring it as high as I did the Transition shade. Alright, I'm taking the shade that's called Smoke, and I'm just applying that with the pencil brush to the lower lash line. Kind of just back and forth, back and forth, blending and smoking out the shade. Okay, now it's time for the fun. We are going to dip into this shade right here, ACI 3. I was looking on the Adept website and I think this is just classified as a shimmer, which kind of surprised me because in my eye swatch video, I felt like I could see so many different reflex. Let me double check. Yeah. Uh, ACI 3 is a shimmer. So I, I'm obsessed with it though and I've been thinking about pairing it with my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette since that I swatch video. So that is what we're going to do. Okay so I'm picking it up on my Real Techniques brush. I did spray the brush with a little makeup mist 
And I'm just going to put this all over the lid. It has so many different colors of shimmer to it. It looks so beautiful. Oh, I love this. This is gorgeous. I'm taking this up high. You can see like I'm buffing into my socket and really just putting it kind of all over the lid. This might be my favorite shade in the palette, honestly. There's something so beautiful to it. And it just, it's so easy to swipe on and get such like intensity. Okay, to highlight the inner corner, I want to do something kind of fun. Since we have this like neutral but special look, I thought it might be fun to go into one of these like shimmery shades. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but let's go into this ACI 11 and let's do like an inner corner. Whoops, where am I? Let me set my palette down. Let's do an inner corner purple spot right there. Just something to kind of be like, oh, it's neutral but we still got some color in there. Okay, I'm going to put on eyeliner and mascara, and then I'll be back and we'll see how the look comes together. Okay, y'all, this is my finished look. I really like it. I feel like it's neutrals, but elevated, and I'm here for it. I do have on the face shades from the Glam Palette. I use the three matte shadows, of course, on the eyes, and then the blush and highlight that I'm wearing today is from this palette as well. And then on my lips, I have Lunar Beauty, Zaya, and Starlight. So that is my lip combo. And I just put on some mascara, but I would love to know, what do you think? Do you like this neutral look? Are you feeling it as much as I am? Okay, I'm going to do like a two-toned... Well, really three tone, but I want to do a matte here and a matte out here in two completely different colors. So I'm going to go back in with my Blend Money Dollhouse palette. I'm going to use the shade Plastic, the shade Cinched, and probably this black a little bit. So this orange, this purpley tone, and this black shade. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Plastic. And I'm going to put it right here. I was kind of inspired to do something like this by a video from my friend Aniela Kanigvas that I was watching. I'm going to switch it up a bit, but I was definitely inspired by her. Okay, so once I have this color like that, that's kind of all I want. Like just almost from the inner portion of my lid flicked up. I'm going to grab a smaller brush and I'm going to go into that matte purple and I'm just gonna put it right out here and then I'm also gonna bring this down and under my eye and if it looks like I have a little mascara on I do I was testing out a new mascara this morning and um, I didn't have any eyeshadow on or anything and I, I just didn't feel like wiping it off when I sat down to do my makeup Okay, I'm not worried about blending that too perfectly. I can go back and do that in a few minutes. What I wanna do now is go in with this multi-chrome down here in the corner. This is ACI 1-2. It's like a magenta, green, copper, I mean, so many different shifts to it. And I wanna first put on my NYX Glitter Primer. I really wanted to show y'all how these shadows perform with all different like techniques and bases. So I'm gonna do the NYX Glitter Primer now and I'm just kind of putting this in the gap between the two mattes. So then I'm gonna go into ACI 1-2. I really like using fluffier brushes. This one is from Beauty Bay and I'm gonna put this in the gap. I think this is gonna look so beautiful and intense between that kind of light orange matte and the purple matte and wow it looks so foiled and I feel like I can see that multi-chrome shift big time since I'm taking it all the way from the lash line up into the socket and a little bit above I think that's just giving me a really cool effect 
So I'm just going to have that laid down like this. Again, I can go back and blend in a minute. I just love taking it from here to here. I feel like I can see the shift so good. And of course, we're just going to do the exact same thing over here. I like to press the shadow on top of the glitter glue first to make sure I have it down and I have all the kind of like tackiness of the glue covered. And I'll just let it set for a minute. I probably don't have to, but that's just what I found works best. And then I'll go back and blend because I definitely need some blending going on in here. But I love, see how everything's kind of at a diagonal. The orange, the multi-chrome, and then the purple, it's all kind of moving at a diagonal. And like I said, I can blend in a minute, but I want to take this kind of blue duochrome shimmery type of shade and I want to use that as my inner corner because this is just going to be a fun, colorful look. I'm going to blend a bit. I'm going to throw on some eyeliner and some lashes and I will be back to show you kind of how the look came together and we'll just talk a little bit. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. I am super into it. I'm wearing Pat McGrath Bridgerton 002 highlighter. <laughs> I love this one. I'm wearing my blush from Dior in the shade Coral. I'm wearing Pinch Me from Beauty Bay topped with Pat McGrath Labs Divine Rose Gloss. That's what I've got going on today. I hope that this video was helpful to you. I tried to show like two colorful looks and two neutral looks, at least what I consider neutral. Like, I just hope that this was maybe helpful, like different ways for you to wear maybe those special shadows that you have. If you have duochromes or multichromes or super intense shimmery shades, hopefully this was helpful. If you're planning to pick up Plain Jane Remastered. Maybe I gave you some ideas, some inspiration. Again, I will link everything down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really like this look though. I had a lot of fun with this. It's almost time for me to go pick up Jackson. So I am going to leave y'all here. Make sure you're subscribed because I have lots of videos coming. That way you won't miss out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!